Now, Tennessee resettles about 1,500 refugees a year, and the majority are placed right here in Nashville. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes shows us how they're adjusting to their new country and who's helping them, Jennifer. Well, Rory, I can tell you firsthand, moving to a new country and learning a new language is not easy. I had to do it as a child, and then we didn't have a lot of resources available. But now there are many people and resources available for immigrants and refugees to help them adapt to their new country, and many are taking advantage of those resources. Mommy? Most yeah. of us cannot remember a time when we didn't know our letters. So we have... A, B, C. The building blocks of our language. One, two, three. Writing them for the first time probably wasn't easy. When I'm walking around looking, I'm looking to see if they're forming the letters correctly. Now imagine doing it all over again as an adult in a different country with a different language. They really, really want to learn English. Helen Wall teaches English as a second language for the Tennessee Foreign Language Institute. Her class is made up of refugees from all over the world. Sometimes when they um, come from a different country that has a different kind of alphabet, they go from right bottom right to left. Today they're learning the basics, but in their minds, they're one step closer to getting acquainted with their new country. Sansarki is their interpreter. It's hard for them because of language barrier. He says learning a new language as an adult is difficult, but that's not stopping them from trying. That's why every Tuesday and Thursday they make the walk to Hillcrest United Methodist Church, where they've been welcomed with open arms for years. Hillcrest has a long history of reaching out to this diverse community, at least for 20 years. As their English gets better, they move to a different classroom where they'll learn how to navigate our city alone. They want to interact with other people. They want to be able to stand on their own feet. Helen Wallen knows how important it is to be able to do that in a new country. Small. She moved here from Germany as a child, and learning English was no easy task. But just like her students, she worked hard, Four. and now she's passing that skill on to others. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling if I can help somebody. And the Tennessee Foreign Language Institute currently offers 19 different ESL classes across eight, style, uh, eight sites in, in South Nashville. If you'd like to become a volunteer or support their cause, they have a silent auction happening tomorrow night at 530 at the Vanderbilt University Club, and that is open to the public. In the newsroom, I'm Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5.